Assistant Chief Frank Borden at the time was uh, responsible for the whole idea and concept of CERT. And it really kind of came from some history back from Japan and Mexico City back in 1985 when they experienced significant earthquakes. I'm Frank Borden. I'm actually honored to be called the father of CERT. I, it's a title that I appreciate very much because since I did develop the program, develop the concept of the program, of course I was surrounded by good people. I picked good people to make sure the program went, went ahead and went, went ahead well. But I do enjoy that title very much and I appreciate uh, being called the father of CERT. My name is Armando Hogan. I'm a deputy chief with the Los Angeles Fire Department. I currently serve as the commander of Operations West Bureau and I'm a 36 year veteran. Uh, my name is Christopher Wynn. I'm a captain with the Los Angeles City Fire Department. I'm a former CERT commander and um, had a really enjoyable time there managing volunteers for the fire department. I was fortunate to get involved with the CERT program through Assistant Chief Frank Borden who at the time was in charge of the Disaster Preparedness uh, Division. It all happened within one year where I got the idea of uh, developing a community-based, self-sufficient uh, neighborhood response plan. And that was a result of me going with a team of people to Japan in September in 1985 to observe their earthquake preparedness plan. And so what we did see there were people that were trained in neighborhoods to do uh, medical, to do evacuation, and to do some fire suppression. But it was pretty apparent that people are interested in volunteering and being trained to help their neighbors. And I thought, well, that's really a good thing, a good thought to bring back to uh, L.A. But right after that, the uh, Mexico City earthquake hit. Mexico City, which was an 8.1, and there were a little over 10,000 people who lost their lives and a little over 30,000 that actually were injured. And, you know, 100 untrained rescuers, as a result of that earthquake, lost their lives. And, and it was found that happened because they had no prior training of, you know, the dangers of going into void spaces and things. And so, they were really acting very holistically and trying to help family members and friends and neighbors, but they just didn't understand and they were not aware of the inherent dangers that exist after you know structural collapse. I actually led a team from LA to go down to Mexico City to learn from that experience and bring back those lessons to the city of LA to see what we could do to improve our response operation. Chief Borden, basically was looking at earthquakes and some of the challenges that we were facing in the city and the fact that we were looking at how resources could be impacted and not being able to get to all areas of the city uh, based on whether the roads are compromised or if there's some challenges in that regard. So the CERT program was just a natural progression. Frank Borden has provided so much leadership in the sense of keep it simple and we wanted to, to try and hold true to that because it worked then and it works now. If people are willing to respond, people are willing to be trained to respond, that would be something that we should do in LA. He came back and thought, wow, you know, we wouldn't want that to happen here in Los Angeles and certainly we are very prone to earthquakes as well as wildfire. And so in um, 1986, he kind of launched this concept. So I wrote up a concept paper of a civilian, if you will, emergency response team, CERT. The powers to be realized, hey, you know, there's some, there's some very significant value to having a program like this. So we started building the CERT program at that point with the best instructors we could find and started training. Uh, I was asked to come down and interview. I did so and uh, the rest is history. I was one of the first members to be a part of the instructional cadre. 1991 when FEMA was looking for the best community preparedness program in the country that they said, Los Angeles, you have the best program and we want to use that to expand it across the United States. Uh, the federal government got 
wind that we might have something going here. And now it spread so fast like wildfire um, that it, it became more imperative to bind all of those different CERT programs into something that is cohesive. My predecessors did a fantastic job uh, in what they did, but as the CERT program expands, then you have to kind of instill some very strict guidelines. All 50 states in the United States have a CERT program, a formal CERT program. It's really just blossomed into something that is so successful. Even smaller municipalities, volunteer departments, you know, it's the old saying, you don't know what you don't know. And once they start getting involved and realize the value of the training. The CERT program today is beyond what I thought it would be. I think that the future of CERT has to revolve around a cohesiveness nationwide when it comes to preparedness. I can't thank the individuals enough for their hard work, their dedication, their commitment. And uh, I, I tell you, the pride I have for this program, it just goes beyond mention. I think the future of the CERT program is, I'll, I'll say the sky's the limit. It's endless where this is going to go in the future. And it's exciting, it's exciting to see. It's an emotional thing for me, it really is, because to think about where it's gone and, and uh, where it's going, it's not gonna stop. I mean, this, this program is good. To this day, I like to go out to the CERT graduations or the CERT opening night to let folks know how important it is and how supportive that I am from a personal perspective. I'm happily surprised that the country of China is using our CERT program to train people in their community. I know uh, that without you, the program doesn't exist. There are currently over 2,800 active CERT programs in the United States and international CERT programs in Chile, Mexico, Brazil, Canada, China, and Laos.